Wendell Whalum was a, a professor at Morehouse College. And for many years, I think over three decades, the director of the Morehouse College Glee Club. That's very significant. Um, he was a scholar and did very much uh, to, to preserve this, this music, the, the music of, of, um, of, of my ancestry, of, of the enslaved African community, through his writings and his teachings and his uh, musical arrangements. Uh, I think he, it is significant to, to acknowledge his contribution to, to this field. Did he unearth more, or was it really more just the light that he, he shed on this music through his work? Well, if we look at just the arrangement of God is a God, and the fact that it is not as well known, and probably wouldn't be if not for him. I'm not aware of any other rangers who have taken up that particular spiritual so if not for him, I know I certainly wouldn't have known that um, particular spiritual. Um, and then there are others. Uh, nothing's coming to mind at the moment. He, he has uh, a lot of hymn arrangements. Um, there is a fountain filled with blood, for instance, um, and some others that he's arranged. Um, drinking of the wine is another uh, spiritual that he's arranged, which is not as well known. But so uh, because of his, his engagement with this music, um, some of these lesser known, which is one of the reasons why I, I selected, I didn't want to make this about educating people about the ones that we don't know, uh, spirituals that we don't know. But I thought it was valuable to say, well, here's one, you know, that we had this, it's kind of off the beaten track. It's not one of those wade in the waters, swing low, sweet chariots that everybody, most people are familiar with, uh, this little light of mine. But this is another beautiful one that might in inspire some people to do some research on their own. What other spirituals are out there that I may not have heard of? And that's because of Wendell Whalum. And he, uh, has written a wonderful article on black hymnody that for me is uh, foundational to, to this work. Um, he wrote in that a, a, a phrase that I quote time and time again, that the spirituals are the root and trunk of black music. And I think that's profound. You know, and I, I, I refer to his work and that's his statement, his, his writing that, that says that. And it lets us know that all black music, sacred and secular, really has its foundation in in the spirituals or more broadly the music of the enslaved community which goes beyond the the religious songs